Kusuzangpola, Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone. This is Sri Tokge and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Darbim Engineer. In today's video, I'll be sharing the three things that I've learned after my graduation. So let's talk about it. Before starting today's video, I would really like to thank all my subscribers from Bhutan as well as Bangladesh for subscribing to my channel and everyone else for the love and support. I really appreciate it. Please keep on supporting me. I studied at North South University, one of the top private universities in Bangladesh, under the scholarship program of His Majesty through the leadership program of Bhutan Scout Association and I'm so, so grateful for this wonderful opportunity and I'll always work hard to make this opportunity a fruitful one. I graduated from North South University in November 2020 with a major in Civil and Environmental Engineering. And these are the three things that I've learned right after my graduation. Number one, just because you graduated from a Civil Engineering College doesn't mean that you have secured a job. There is this stereotype that if you graduate from a Civil Engineering College, you will easily get a job once you graduate. This may not be true for everyone else, but at least for me, this is my experience. And people around me would also say that once you graduate from a civil engineering college, you will easily get a job and your life will be all set. I was also carried away by this stereotype and I also believed that I would also get a job once I, when I graduate. And I was just happy thinking about it. But once I graduated and entered the job market, the reality hit me. There was 100 people competing for just one job and the competition was fierce. The stereotype might have been true in the past with less expertise and less competition in the job market, but today only 15% of the technical graduate who graduate every year can assure a job. Rest 85% are just like me building castle in the air and not getting anywhere and uh, you're not getting a job because uh, you don't have an experience and you are not experiencing anything because you are not getting into any jobs. So the fact is that just because you graduate from a civil engineering college doesn't mean that you have secured a job. You have to work for it and please do not take civil engineering if you are just uh, taking it for the sake of getting a job or if, other one, if, if, if everyone is taking civil engineering and you also want to take it, just take civil engineering if you are genuinely interested, uh, interested in the subject. And I feel that civil engineering is a beautiful subject. Uh, everyone says that it is a mixture of arts and science. And I also feel that it is a beautiful subject and I enjoy civil engineering and I hope you will enjoy it too. Number two. What you learn in the college is not everything and aren't always applicable in the field. When I graduated, I felt like I've learned a lot and now I'm job ready. And I had that feeling until the first day of my internship. But right after a few days of my internship, I felt like, oh man, I don't know anything. I didn't see any of these math equations that we used to solve in the class. All I saw was a bunch of documents and bills, uh, and complicated engineering drawings and I saw the engineers talking over the phone, calling, negotiating, updating on the schedules and managing appointments and I felt uh, and I thought to myself like uh, what were we doing in the college? What were we uh, learning in the college and why were we not taught according to what is really required in the field? I had to learn everything from scratch and I found only 5 to 10 percent of what we studied in our college days were useful and there are a lot of things that I don't know and I regretted that had I studied or had I explored a little bit more when I was doing my college days uh, I, must, uh, I won't be struggling much right now but I was quite relieved after talking to my seniors and listening to their stories of how they struggled the same they also went through the same situation that we are going through right now so the fact is that whatever you learn in the college is not and is never enough. Like there are so much things that you have to learn on your own and you have to learn it by doing it. And that's the second lesson that I've learned. 
and number three is to explore that is the most important thing that I've learned and is also one of the things that I'm most regretful about and that's that's to explore I never explored during my college days like I always did best and I always thought that whatever is taught in the class are the only important things and these are the only things that we have to know as a civil engineer but the fact is that whatever is taught in the class is just a fraction of what is there to learn there is so much to learn there is so much to explore and if everything is are to be taught in the college then probably you won't be finishing your degree anytime soon so that's why if you are a college student or if you are going to join your college anytime soon please make sure to explore learn as much as you can when you have time and resource because once you graduate you will literally have no time to explore and learn new things even if you do like you won't be able to keep up because there are a lot of other things that are important and you have to pay attention to so that's why it's really important to explore when you have the right time and when you have the right resources because nowadays there are lots of resources out there in Google like YouTube and there are also online classes like Coursera and Udemy there's also Skillshare there, uh, there is a lot of resources out there so please make sure to learn more and learn every day so these are the three best experiences that I've had and please like my video if you also had the same experience or if you enjoyed listening to my experience and please uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new or if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss my next video that will be my personal top five soft engineering softwares that i use and i will share with you in my next video so thank you all for watching till the end and i will see you in my next video Good